God said that his house would be a house of prayer. Amen, 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 amen. Alright, here we go. Let's open up with prayer. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Oh. God is a mighty God. How many of you know God is mighty? Do you know he's omnipotent? Yes. He's a wonderful God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Dear Father God, we come before your throne. Father, we just come to say thank you for one reason. You woke us up this morning. You started us on our way. Father, you put food on our table. You put clothes on our back. Shoes on our feet. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider, God. Father, when we can't depend and count on nobody, Father, we can always count on you. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. So, Father, we just thank you that you're God all by yourself. We thank you, dear God, that when we don't have no one, when we're not around our family, that you take that position of our Father. We call you Jehovah Jireh. We call you Abba Father because, God, for some of us don't even have fathers. Some of us never even laid eyes on our dads. But, Father, you're the greatest father that anybody could ever want for, ever hope for. And you give us a love, God, that no man can give. So, Father, when people are not loving us right, as long as we got your love, then we got the greatest love ever. So we just come to give you praise. We come to give you glory and give you honor because you are a mighty God, an awesome God. Father, you're still a healing God. You're still a delivering God. And so, Father, we just say thank you. We come to give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all that agree with that prayer say amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord a hand pray. Amen. amen. We love you, Lord. Hello? Look, I'm right in the, we started already, so you just have to get here, okay? You, you here? Okay, you, do you see a tent right across, our, is that tent across the street? Come on, you can pull up right behind my truck. Yeah, we left that space for you. Huh? Come pull up right behind it. You see us right across the street. Is that you at the light? Okay, come on across the light and pull up behind my truck. JJ, can you shut the tailgate? Can you can will the tailgate shut so we can pull up? You can pull up right here, right here, right here. All right, let's. <laughs> okay. Oh, praise Amen. Lord. Praise Amen. Lord. Amen. Lord. We are going to give God some praise. It's a song that we want to sing to just, you know, remind everybody. How many got a testimony? Do you know that you're a living testimony? Do you know that you are a testimony? So we gonna sing this song. I don't have a track, so we gonna sing it with the song. Amen. But that's all right. This song just reminds us that we are a testimony. Uh oh, uh oh, it's the wrong one. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. This ain't the right one, y'all. We want y'all to clap your hands, stomp your feet, bob your head. We want you to get your praise on. We want you to get your hallelujah on. We want you to get your glory to God on. Come on, you might as well put those hands together. Here we go. Here we go. As I look back over my life, and I think things all over. How many of you can choose to say that you've been blessed?
We always like to start out like that on a song that get your blood moving, amen. Get your toe tapping, get your head bobbing. <laughs> amen. We all have a testimony. All God is waiting on is for you to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's it. God is waiting for our thank you. And the way you tell God thank you is by how you treat the person who's sitting next to you. Oh, y'all got quiet. Amen. It got quiet up here. Do that. <laughs> the way you love God is by loving your neighbor. Amen. That's how you show God that you love him. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise. Amen. And I know sometimes people say, well, I don't know how to love. Did nobody love me? How many got that testimony? The way you love the person sitting next to you, you love them like God loves you. Amen. Did that, did, is that okay? Amen. <laughs> amen. Give them amen. God's love, eh? not man's love. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to keep on stirring it up because it's something about worshiping God is so beautiful. Amen. amen. When you worship God, the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. That means Amen. that while we're praising him, he comes in. You see how quiet and calm and beautiful and see how serene? We still on the sixth in San Pedro, but when God is present, it's a whole different atmosphere. Amen. Amen. It's different when God is here. Amen. Yes, so we're gonna go on and just share. We're just gonna we're not gonna be before you long. Amen. But you know, sometimes some of us just need Jesus. How many of you need Jesus? How many of you know you need Jesus? Go. I need just a little more Jesus. 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 Just a little more Jesus. I need 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 just a little more Jesus. Help me along the way. Hey, hey, alright. Try and sing with this young lady. Some people you can't sing behind. Oh, hell. 
give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Part of getting help is knowing Thank that you, you need a little help. I and sometimes know. we just need a little help, amen? Yes, Lord. Just a little help. Just a little just sometimes we just need just a little guidance, amen? Yes, Lord. With some God, there's so many people that I have met right here on Skid Row that are highly gifted, that are highly talented. And when you're highly gifted and when you're high, you don't know which way to go first. So sometimes even, you know, we're not all on drugs and alcohol. Some of us just don't know which way to go first. But how many know God know? Because he's the one that created us. He got Amen. the blueprint. How Amen. many know God got the blueprint to your life? Amen. So you got to just spend time with him. Amen. Spend time with him. And he'll do and he'll lead and guide you. We got a beautiful song that we sing called Order My Steps. If you ever ask God to order your steps, how many know he will? But he said we have not because we ask not. If you don't ask God to order your steps, then he won't. He's waiting on you and me to come to the throne. Amen? Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand. Praise, Praise the Lord. Ain't this a Praise beautiful Lord. night? This is a beautiful night He's to worthy. worship unto God. Amen to sing these beautiful worship amen. songs. Amen. Amen. It's a song that we sing. We would sing it when we was at the Nazarene Church. Nazarene Church. How many know God is an amazing God? How many you want him to be amazing? Well, you got to call him amazing. God is going to be what you call him. And the song says, you're so amazing. Your love for me, your love for me, it's so amazing, so amazing. Your sacrifice for me, for oh, every blessing, for oh, every blessing, you give unto me, give unto me, for oh, every valley, for oh, every valley, you use the strength. And me, I don't deserve your love, your tender mercy. Without your grace, where will I be? Where will we be without God's love? Somebody, if you know the song, will you help us sing? It's so amazing. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your love for me. Your love for me, it's so amazing, so amazing. Your sacrifice for me, for every blessing, for every blessing you give unto me, give unto me, for every valley, for every valley, you used to strength and me. amazing.
Well, let's give the Lord a hand, pray. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing. You know, God is gonna be what you call Him. So whatever you want God to be, whatever you need Him to be, you gotta call Him that. Yes. How many of you need a healer? Need healing in your body? Call Him a healer. He gonna be what you call Him. He just wants you to call Him. Hey, that's right. Say that again. That name, there's power in that name. There's healing in that name. How many know that? How many need love? Love. Uh huh, uh huh. And we've been looking in all the wrong places. How many know God is the one that created love? Amen. So why are we running from God when we know we need love? Amen. There's a song that we used to love to sing. It's called The Love Theory. Amen. Amen. And it just reminds us that God is love. You know, if you got the real deal, holy feel, you don't need all this fake love going on around here. You know, I had to learn that for myself. Family that ain't loving you right. But if you got God's love, it don't matter about that family that ain't loving you right. When you got God's love, you got the love of someone that really cares. This song just reminds us. It's called Love. It's called Love Theory. And I know you guys know this song. Do you guys know this song? Call up love theory. Oh, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah, I don't want his version. We gonna sing this song. Here we go, brothers and sisters. It's time to get back to life. You know, only God can make your next chapter and your best chapter. Y'all ready? Here we go. Here we go. How can it be that you love the most unlovable part of me, of me, of misery? Your life was the only gift I'd ever need to be free, to be free. It's amazing with you. I win even if I lose. Everything's working for Let's go. 
this music we used to call it inspirational music it's something about praising God it lifts up your spirit amen anybody feel lifted up a little bit just a little bit yes I do yeah that's that's what was the purpose of the music so you got to really watch what you're listening to you got to watch what you're listening to if you want to draw close to God then you gotta sing melodies that God wants you to sing, amen? And 
mean, and that's what the song says here. The reason I live, the reason I live is to worship. This song is a beautiful worship song that just simply says, When I look into your holiness, when I gaze into your loveliness, when all things that surround become shadow in the light of you. Isn't that a beautiful song to sing to someone you love?
up your mouth and give God some worship. Open up your heart and worship God. Don't be ashamed before me. Hallelujah, God. We worship you. We love you. We adore you, God. We thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Amen. That's all God waiting for. Hallelujah. He goes all over the world looking for those that are not ashamed to worship. He said, if you don't be ashamed before men, he's not going to be ashamed of you up in heaven. Amen. 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 Can we give the Lord another hand, praise? We're going to do one last song. Amen. It just, I, I just Amen. love this weather. It's going to get to a place where it's going to get cold. <laughs> so we're enjoying being out here right now. This weather is beautiful. Amen. How many of you made a decision that you're going to cry your last tear yesterday? How many made a decision to trust God? That's what this song is saying. So we're going to go down south with this one. We're going to go down to North Carolina, to Alabama with this worship. Y'all ready? Here we go.
and it feels good being on the outside. Let's give the Lord a hand, praise, amen. We're gonna, we're honored tonight. We've got some special guests in the house. Let's show some love for our elder, Campbell, right here. We've got an elder in the house, amen. And we've got some very, very important people in the house, amen. We've got a young man in the house, and he's came and done the food with us and served. The, he said he just wanted to come and help us serve the food. A very well-known uh, uh, young man by the name of Brian Oxman. Wow. Let's show him some love. And his Maureen, his beautiful wife, Maureen. Let's show them some love. Okay, and we've got a pastor in the house, amen, yeah. Katrina. Katrina. Let's show her some love, amen. Yeah. We need preachers, so you gotta, yeah. <laughs> we, you know, only because we just came out a little late tonight, and we try not to be long, uh, that day. we're going to go on, but we do need more people, uh, more help on the outside. When we came outside, we lost a lot of our, 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 our help, so, but I thank God for those faithful ones. Thank God for Sister JJ. Thank God for Sister Lillian, and thank God for Brother uh, uh, Marshall right there. Where's Brother Banjo at? Brother Banjo, where are you at? Thank God for Brother Banjo. He always makes sure that we set up and we shutting down the on time. And, and I want to show some love for Sister Cheryl, who's been by my side, worshiping God for about 13 of those 16 years. Amen. And, and, and we got some faithful people in the house that have been supporting us. Come on. Uh, raise your hand so we can say God bless you to you too. We got some faithful people that's been supporting us. Brother Dave been filming us since we've been out on the corner. Amen. My sister right here. My sister right here. She was mad. And now she comes in fellowships with us. Amen. My sister sitting right there in the chair. She came to help us out. <laughs> The chair broke, but God be the glory to God. And just everybody that is here right now supporting. I don't know where Brother Rocco is at right now. but, but Oh, me too? Me. Okay, y'all can give me a hand too. <laughs> Amen. So we got it. Uh, uh, our, our dear guest would like to say something. Let's show him some love. His name is Brian Oxman. Amen. I'm Brian Oxman, and I have known this angel for more years than I can think. It's 20, 30 years. She, she said she started here 16 years ago. I can witness that. She is, I don't know, Geraldine is one of the most fabulous people. For her to work so hard to bring you the food, to bring God's glory, yeah. that this woman will do that. Amen. Amen. I met her through Michael Jackson. How many of you remember Michael Jackson? He is unforgettable. But Geraldine was part of Michael Jackson's life. And I was Michael's attorney. Yes. Yes. And Geraldine and I have known one another through Michael Jackson. Yes. And wow. Wow. And every time I come here to help her and to see her, my heart just soars. I cannot believe the glory of this woman and what she does and I know that everybody wants to eat what she has but you know just like like God you gotta give a little to get a little and Geraldine is the best I love her and I hope you love her she is here doing God's work an amazing Amazing grace to this woman. I love you. Wow. Hey, let the church say amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Praises. Amen. Amen. Let's see. Uh-huh. I wish I could. I wish I could. You just gotta come back. <laughs> see the whole you gotta right come there. back. We're gonna go on and close so that we can go on and uh, start serving this food. Amen. We're gonna serve it all until it's gone. You guys got a good night on tonight. Elder, would you like to say something? Yeah. Elder? Okay, watch that, watch that cord right there. Come, come over here. This is our elder. He's faithful to this ministry. His son, uh, the young man that, that ministered last week, Brother Josh, that's his son. Thank you. Uh, I thank God for Ger uh, Evangelist Geraldine, Evangelist Cheryl, and I thank God for uh, what he's doing here tonight. Thank God for how she is so faithful to the ministry, how she's so faithful and she drives two and a half hours one way to get here. Yeah. Is it two and a half? An hour. hour. One hour. Well, that's still a lot. She got to go an hour back then. <laughs> thank God for her. I thank God for uh, what he's doing uh, through her in the ministry, encouraging us and uh, feeding us. And I just thank the Lord for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. We have a pastor in the house. Would you like to say God bless you? Amen. Come on, let's show some love. Amen. We love it when people of God and God sends his ministering angels. Amen. 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 Pastor Katrina. God bless you, Geraldine. And actually, just gonna be honest. I came out to the row. I had a caseworker visit our site. Um, everybody knows us on the row. Um, I'm Miss Katrina. I'm the CEO of Changing the Faces of Homelessness. We just brought the fifth annual breakthrough event on 824-24. So God sent me out here for a reason to connect with you. Because, you know, we have to continue to do God's work to build the kingdom. But this caseworker came to me because they're housing uh, refugee student, African refugee students like I am. And I'm not going to be behold, behold, in front of y'all long. I just want to say this. And he was disobedient. So I brought him to the ropes. I want him to understand that it's real out here in America what's going on in these streets. And when someone is housing you and taking care of you and you ain't got to worry about nothing, you need to be obedient. Because we out here, this is the struggle. The struggle is real, real in these streets. And we out here trying to help people come off the streets by edifying them with the food and the spiritual food. So, Miss Geraldine, again, God bless you for everything that you're doing. We most definitely going to connect. We're going to work together. And God bless you, Y'all know I love the road. Y'all know I love the road. And we're going to keep coming. Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to go on and close. On that note, we're going to go on and close. But before we close, we always like to give an opportunity for somebody to connect their life with Jesus. Amen. 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 We have not come one time and not extended the hand of Christ. Amen. If you want to be made, if you want to make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, then you've got to say yes to Christ while you're still here. Because when you, how many know that the devil will get you in a place where you can't do it? You're not going to be able to. You so don't put it off. You're here now. Your divine time is right now. Your divine moment is right now. So take advantage of the love that God is showing you right now. God is showing you love right now because he wants to draw you by his love. So if you've never said yes to Jesus, if you've never asked him to be your Lord, your personal Lord and Savior, and you'd like to do so on today, can you please come to the altar? This is the altar call, and I believe that there is one. Who's the one that would say yes to the Lord on today? Me. Amen. Come on, let's, come on, come on, come on, stop. <laughs> Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. God bless your heart. God bless your heart. God, I know it takes courage. Right here, right here. Don't move. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. We have someone else coming. This labor is never in vain. God will never let your labor be in vain. Come on, right here now. This is where the love is at. This is where Christ, where we meet Christ. Amen. Turn around, turn around. Turn around. Amen. Turn around. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is between you and God. Is there someone else? We don't want to leave nobody out. 
we're getting ready to say a prayer. We call it the sinner's prayer. This is the prayer that if you say it with a sincere heart, Romans 10, 9 says, amen. Come on, let's give the Lord amen. another hand prayer. Come on, if you're at the corner, you, you're not, it won't take a lot to just come to the altar. Come to Jesus right now, because there's nothing but love amen. in the house right now. There's nothing Pray. but peace. There's love. There's salvation in the house. Anybody need healing? Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to God. So as we say this prayer, oh, bless your heart. As we say this prayer, all you got to do is say it with a sincere heart. And the Bible says you shall be saved. If you're still sitting in your seat, you can get in on it too. If you're standing at the corner, you can get in on it. All you got to do is say this prayer and be sincere. Let's pray. Dear God, forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe Jesus died for my sin. I want him to be my Lord and my Savior. Holy Spirit, fill me with your power. Lead me, guide me, order my steps. Satan, I rebuke you. From this day forward, I serve you no more. I put you under my feet in Jesus' name. Dear God, heal me, deliver me, set me free. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.